Hi, in this video you will learn heat test or epsilometer sensitivity test. Heat test or epsilometer test is a quantitative technique that is based on combination of both diffusion and dilution principle of susceptibility testing. Heat test strip is a non-porous plastic rectangular strip with 5 mm wide and 60 mm long consists of predefined continuous and exponential gradient of antibiotic concentrations and is used to determine the minimum inhibitory concentration. The minimum inhibitory concentration is a minimum amount of an antimicrobial agent that inhibit the growth of bacteria. Let's see what are the requirements needed for the heat test. First you need a Muller Hinton agar with or without blood. Then the bacterial suspension which should be compared with 0.5 McFarland standard. Then next sterile cotton swab and a MIC evaluator strip. So let's start the procedure. Pick up a sterile cotton swab and the bacterial suspension. Dip the swab into the bacterial broth and when you take it out, remove any excess liquid by pressing the swab against the side wall of the tube. Then open the plate and inoculate as lawn culture. Once you finish the inoculation, close the plate and discard the swab in the discarding container. Make sure write the identification name or number on the plate. Next, open the heat test packet and remove the strip. So now you can see one side of the strip show MIC scale in microgram per ml and a code that identifies the antimicrobial agent. The other side which shows in blue color holds the antibiotic with the concentration maximum at the top and the minimum in the lower part of the strip. With the help of a sterile forcep, hold at the end of the strip shows antibiotic code. Generally drop the E-strip onto the agar surface with MIC scale facing upwards. When the strip is applied onto an inoculated agar plate, there is an immediate release of antibiotic to the agar surface and the strip should be lightly pressed down to ensure the contact with the agar. Then incubate the plate at 37 degrees Celsius for overnight in an inverted position. After incubation, read the drop-shaped inhibition zone. Read the MIC value at the point where ellipse intersects the side of the strip. Interpret the MIC reading following the standard guidelines. If the ellipse is uneven with one end slightly higher than the other one, then always not the upper value. If the difference is more than one dilution, the test should be repeated.